you were at the concert and you went to get aspirin. Yes. Why? Because I just needed aspirin, so I said I, I should go and get aspirin. So it was a bad mistake because I, I went out there and I... Went out where? Outside of the club in Tijuana, just in the street, and I got picked up by the police. They beat me up. Robbed me, so. And where were your fellow band members? <laughs> at the at the concert. But they didn't play. They didn't play, no. They're waiting for me, but I was getting beat up and. Well, that's unfortunate. You have no evidence there with you, so I would assume that you weren't taken to a hospital. You weren't taken to a medical facility. You have no proof of this story except that you didn't show up for your job. I have my witness here who picked me up. I I did have a black eye. Did have a cut face, you know. Could be because she got drunk and got into a bar fight. How does she know? I actually drove out there with him and I picked him up and uh, he was pretty beat up, so. Hey, maybe he deserved it. I don't know, who, who, who knows what happened. I didn't see the other guy. Neither did you, right? I did not, no. Perfect. Mm. So you have to give Mr. Crawford his money back. Right. I mean, you didn't play. He gave you a $1,500 deposit and he reserved airfare for you that he says was non-refundable. When you say it's not refundable, is that because you were supposed to go the next day? Yes, uh, actually, 2 o'clock in the morning. The show was at 11.30 at night, and as soon as the show ended, we were supposed to go straight to the airport. Well, we couldn't find Guillermo after the show, so we had to go to the airport anyway. When Once we got to the airport, we were about to get on the plane, and the rest of his band members panicked because they didn't have their drummer and they decided not to get on the plane. They actually broke up at the airport and went back to California. So then I was forced to go to the shows, to the next two festivals, without the band. And it looked bad on me as the promoter. Did you have any other bands? Yes, but they weren't the headliners. They were the headliner? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever worked for you before? No, this was one of the first shows I'd have actually booked them for. As a headliner? Yes, ma'am. So, so far I have $3,230. Yes, ma'am. There was uh, another $2,500 that was supposed to be paid in parts after each show, but once we got to Tijuana, three of the band members, including him, they took me into a hotel room and they said, we need the money now, not after the shows. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. So he owes a quarter of $2,500. Yes, ma'am. $625. Thirty-eight fifty. Why did you want to be paid before? Uh, we were just afraid that we were not going to get paid or that something would happen. And then... Well, something happened. You didn't show up for work. Yeah, careful what you wish for, I guess, right? Ma'am? People... What? I also have the receipt from the, the club that I had to pay $1,500 to rent. Thirty-eight fifty-five. For the uh, Club Iguana. Thirty-eight fifty-five. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you. Why does our excuse you may step out? Complete panic because the band was actually on stage ready to perform. I feel like, you know, I was drugged. I felt like maybe it could have been them. And there was no drummer to be found, so... I don't know. I just, you know, after I, I went into the club and... We had hundreds of people standing there waiting for the band to play. Went there, it just felt kind of weird. And they had to take all their equipment down and not play. I just recall getting beat up by three people. We can't work with their band anymore because of this. And then being at the border. It's unfortunately the price of owning a record label.